Hey, I'm Ella Rodney. Thanks for clicking on my video. How you like that? Picked them up and they broke. <clears throat> the, uh, the bananas broke from the stem. So they're ready. They're, they're ready. But I wanted to do a video and talk about something that is very, very interesting to me. And it deals with, um, with the diet, because I've been looking for a diet. And I started getting involved with looking for a diet just at the time that the Woodstock Fruit Festival had its little meltdown. And one of the people, as, as, as I do, I mean, I do a lot of research on this kind of stuff. So I was doing a lot of research, and I started running into these names. One of the names I started running into quite often was Danny Vitalis. And it was easy for me to figure out that Danny Vitalis is someone that is not real popular within the uh, fruititarian, raw food, 80-10-10 crowd at all. And so, you know, I mean, there's, you know, start, people started picking... People, you know, he was out before people started picking sides. But the, uh, there was a couple of people that got kicked out of the, uh, the Pioneer thing, whatever that is, at the uh, Woodstock Fruit Festival. The people that have, have uh, you know, the, the speakers and the people that, you know, know. The people that know what's going on with food. They're the people that you look up to, you know, oh, oh, oh. I don't think so. I don't think so. No. And I knew there was something really hinky with that group. When I saw a video with these two people named Happy Healthy Vegans, and they were being, it was almost like they were browbeating themselves. Because they had gone to this fruit festival, and... There wasn't enough fruit there for them, but they didn't complain about it in a real bad way. They weren't jumping up and down, you know. I don't even think they complained about it at the thing. But they had what they called basically a backup plan where they had some rice and they took it back to their place where they were staying at some facility off the, off the premises where they clandestine, in a clandestine manner, looking over their shoulder in their own room to make sure nobody's looking, looking, no, checked under. They probably checked under the bed. Is there somebody under there? Check first, check first, you know. And plugged in their rice cooker and, and made up some rice. Because this is the raw fruit festival, raw, raw food. So raw food means no cooked food. So if you, if you boil some rice... Well, you're probably out. You know. You're out. <laughs> Get out of here with your boiled rice. We thought you had it in you. We thought you were going to be one of us, but no, you're not. Get out of here. You know. <laughs> oh man, it's it's. I, I looked at the whole thing and I, I was I was thinking it, it it was almost like visions of high school were coming back to me. You know, it's like oh the cool kids, oh, the cool kids, oh, oh, you know. Oh, it was, it, was, it was comical to me in a way. But there was a guy named Daniel Vitalis, who absolutely, according to my research, do your own research, I'm not your mother. Danny Vitalis, Daniel Vitalis was one of the, the, big, the big guys within the whole raw food movement, fruititarian. He started off as a fruititarian. And from my research, like I said, do your own research. I think he was talking about for the first five years he did real good, and the second five years was not too good. So you, that'll give you something to research. Why he quit. But he quit, and then once he quit, and started eating meat. Oh, <laughs> woo! Oh, that's super bad. A lot worse than eating boiled rice, which now that 
certain things have changed within that whole movement. Now it's okay to have some boiled rice and it's okay to have some steamed potatoes, right? But prior to that, my research, do your own, that it was, it was still very verboten. But, you know, things change and, you know, when, when you're in a dogmatic world and you are strict, whatever you are, and then you go away from your strictness to where, well, okay, we can have some boiled potatoes and we can have some steamed rice and this and that. You know, it's okay to do that. But that's all. You can't go any further than that. So you start off saying you can't go past this point. But then you cross that point and then you set up another point. So now there's some people in this whole raw food thing. that uh, it's okay to go ahead and have some steamed starches, which is good. It seems like that's an upgrade from where they started off. But getting back to this guy, Daniel Vitalis. I saw a video, seen some videos on this guy. This guy is really sharp. And I'm, there's a video down here and I'm not saying he's making some sort of play to get back into the, to the head of the, the raw food movement. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying I wish that I would have seen this video when I first started my attempt to find a, a diet that I like. Because what he says in the video that's in the description makes more sense than anything that I've ever heard from the raw food fruitarian thing, whatever that thing is. Way more sense. And the reason I showed you the bananas is because, and don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm all into the banana. I, I like it. I enjoy it. I got a neutral bullet. It's beautiful. I haven't eaten so many greens and had so much smoothies in my entire life. It's what I have right here in my very own studio. But one thing that Vitalis was talking about, not in this video, in another video, if I can remember and I can find it, I will put that video in there where he and another person that, and please close your ears because I do not want this name to enter into your consciousness lest ye need to go into some sort of detox. Three, two, one. Matt Monarch was talking to Danny Vitalis. I don't know if he likes to be called Danny, Daniel. I guess you get older, you want to be Daniel. I don't know the guy. I never talked to him. But he was talking about the banana. Now, I don't know if this is actually the true definition of a ge genetically modified food or not. But Danny Vitalis, Daniel Vitalis was talking about how the banana has this banana that we get in the store has basically, and do your own research, it doesn't have much to, in, well, it probably has a lot in common, but it's not anything compared to what it was in the beginning. It was a small plant that the, this some guy, I think, in, back in the 1800s started to play around with it and turned it into a yellow banana. And he also said something that was very fascinating, that this food right here, that so many people promote, has no seeds. It has no seeds. Now, I don't know if that's a definition of genetically modified, but if a plant has no seeds, if the fruit of the plant has no seeds, what does that tell you? So maybe what it means is that we just have to wait a hundred years and all the genetically modified food that's out there right now is going gonna, is gonna to have its own little clique of people running around saying that the banana is the, the touchstone for health. When it, it's, it's, it, and, and this guy, Daniel Vitalis, made the comparison between the bananas of old and this banana as the same between a chihuahua and a wolf. That genetically a chihuahua is a wolf. 
It's the same genetics. So maybe this is the same genetics as, the, as that banana. But isn't that a modified, played with, screwed with, tweaked, natural food? So is this a natural food? He was saying that the only way that you can get a yellow banana, okay, is from cloning or from some sort of, it was, it was other, like, a, like some sort of, a, I guess, a, I don't know what it is, but it's not, it's not a seed. It's, it's a, uh, I'm sorry, you have to do your own research. But it's not, you don't get yellow bananas from seeds. You get them from clones. So if we're eating cloned food, if this is the, if this is the, if this is the height of health, it's not even a natural food. This is not a natural food. Now, I love it. Don't get me wrong. I bought the Nutribullet so I can make banana smoothies. And a lot of it was based on the information that's out there in the raw food community talking about banana smoothies and greens. He was even talking about greens. Now, he's going back to, he's, he's, he's going back into some sort of hunter-gatherer thing. Which, uh, you know, I, I don't have a problem with that. But I think that once you see this video, I think that Daniel Vitalis is going to become more of a person in this whole healthy living thing, vibe, whatever it's called. He's going to be more, he's going up. He, he went way up in my eyes because the man is sharp. He is a sharp person. So regardless of whether or not you're, whatever your feelings are toward, whatever your feelings are toward, if you look at the man with a logical mind, you can tell he's sharp. And if he's not sharp and it's all a lie, then, you know, <laughs> you know okay, he fooled me. But then again, I'm pretty easy to fool. I'm Hello Rodney, thanks for watching and bye bye.